it's a very narrow little road on our way down to the start of the walk. I've already had to open two gates because apparently the sheep like to go for a little wander. Morning. This round. Right. This morning we are at the side of Crummock Water and we are aiming to do four more Wainwright summits, which will be uh, Whiteless Pike, Wandope, Grassmore, and Whiteside. Uh, just shy of 10 miles, probably been 10 and a bit by the time we've had a couple of little detours. Uh, so, could take us up to eight hours. Or more. Or more. Blimey. Or <laughs> yeah. 10. You're, you're conservative. Uh, so, uh, it yeah. is. 10 past 10, got to put our boots on and get going, but uh, we should hopefully be away by 20 past. So this walk is the continuation of the one we did in April that uh, we, gave we gave up on. So this is Ranadale Knots just in front of us, which is the one of the four that we did that day. Um, we weren't going to go up and do Whiteside that day. We were just going to come down off Grassmore. So today, having done Ranadale Knots, which is only a tiddler, we're going to go up and do the full circuit and take in Whiteside to give us an extra one. Um, but it adds about four miles onto the uh, the walk, so what should have been six, six and a half miles is near a ten. So we uh, just running along the bottom of Ranadale Knots and the idea is that we go up here to that little fork there and then we start going off up that ridge um, but Grassmore has just come out of the cloud and as you can see it's a bit of a monster and there is my favourite pub in the whole of the Lake District the Fish Inn at Buttermere it's a nice pint of Thatcher's Gold so this Here's where we got blown away last time. And Rick was uh, holding onto his poles and also onto his trousers. It was, <laughs> was a bit like that. You were holding onto your pants as well, though. <laughs> and then everything was in danger of being blown off. But it's a happy view. And it's much nicer now to say that uh, you've not got the wind trying to blow you over. Scree path. Or in Macca's words, this is shite to walk on. So it's a shite path. <laughs> the technical Cumbrian term for scree to shite. So this is Whiteless Breast, which is uh, well, two thirds of the way up Whiteless Pike. Fantastic uh, views out to sea across the Solway Firth. Three. Done. So we are on the summit plateau of Grassmore, 852 metres, and it's it should. Fly, so we're gonna do this well, there's a lot of people up on there. I don't know whether these are just shelters or these are the cairns, but uh, we will see. But the views look like they're going to be amazing from the other side. So this is uh, just, just off of the summit of Grassmoor um, but it's a good view of where we're going next if we've got the top of the pole that kind of area, that ridge there Hope Gill Head is up there um, which we've done before we'll do that one today and then we follow that ridge all the way over Whiteside is over there before descending quite a steep descent down So we've decided the sun's come out we're just coming down off Grassmoor summit and this looks like a good place for a picnic so uh, yeah we're both starving so that's uh, looking over to the Scarfells, Great Gable some perspective of where we are uh, which means that's Robinson Dalehead in the distance there and Fleet with Pike which you probably can't see because it's in shade but just there you just see the tip of bottom here Fun little descent just a shame what's going down. 
if I don't back up. So, Grasdale Pike up there, and you've got Outer Side, Barrow, Causey Pike. That's the summit of Hope Gill Head. Grasdale Pike in the distance there. And this is the path we've just come up here and then from over there on Grassmoor. And now we've just got this ridge to do. Um, Hope Gill Head is the way in right, but we've done it before. It's part of our Grasdale Pike horseshoe that we did. Um, so we move swiftly on, go and do this ridge now on Whiteside. See, it's like yeah, great views oh, over yeah. to the across the Solway Firth, and that is the clearest I have ever seen the Isle of Man. Oh, yeah. And I used to live on the coast for uh, 15 years in Cumbria, and uh, I've never seen it that clear on the odd occasional day. That's fantastic. <laughs> Quite a cool little edge between uh, there's white side coming down and between Hope Gill Head and here. It's only a little one, nothing like any of the others, but uh, didn't expect that, so that's quite cool. So that's the view about halfway along the ridge, I think. Stunning walk this one, beautiful scenery and it's good fun in it, scrambling up and down yeah. all these little uh, outcrops and that. I think that, that little bit from Hope Gill Head to the white side here is one of my favourite bits. Favourite little ridges. Yeah, very good. Yeah, good fun. just gone four o'clock we've just done Whiteside which is our final peak summit for the day there's the road our cars about a mile down the lake from there mile and a half um, so yeah ten past four now and I think we've probably got another uh, two hours to get back to the car so uh, hopefully we're back at the car for six fingers crossed but this is a seriously steep descent Some descent that is super steep and a real uh, leg burner if ever there was one. One of the steepest and, and longest we've come down. We've come down steeper bits, but only for short durations. But continuous steep down that was uh, right up there with them. Oh, we're back at the road. So about a mile up here now and uh, we've got the car parts but we've done that in uh, an hour which for us is a pretty good descent so I think it was quite tough but uh, thoroughly enjoyed that right yeah one of your one of your better walks that so uh, we're going back to the car and then off to the fishing so we'll catch up with you there yeah right back of the car uh... 
I'm not sure what time it is. We'll go to the pub and we'll do the stats, but uh, just be grateful this isn't smell vision because my feet are absolutely, look at that, soaking. It's bone dry up there. That's just sweaty Gore-Tex boots. But, and the only reason I'm showing you my ugly feet, stinky feet, is that we've got new boots for next time, hopefully. Got them this week, but I hadn't had time to run them in properly, so only done a couple of miles in them. So hopefully next time out, we won't get sweaty, stinky Gore-Tex feet. A few hours, but uh, it, it was a good one, really good walk, and I recommend anybody going up Whiteside. You couldn't wild camp up there, I don't think it's too craggy, but uh, in terms of a view and fun com coming down and getting up it, brilliant walk, really good walk. So uh, that's it, 99 to go. Bottoms up.